positive vibes, motivation, inspiration, love, positive energy, goodwill, everyone's way. Bad health is big business, and we're here to put them out of business. If we are what we eat, if we cheat, then we must treat. Today's video is about gemstones, crystals. Uh, have you ever seen anyone walk around with gemstones at their, as if they're diamonds? And you have ask them about them that say it's about protection. Well, there's different gemstones that have different attributes to them. You can say powers. People might think of it to be magic, witchcraft. Every one of these elements from, uh, every crystal is natural from the earth. So uh, just like the plants grow and they're made, so are these elements. That's natural to us. So if God made it, or the creator made it, I want it. Uh, the great parts about it, well, an important part, if you think that your zodiac has nothing to do with your existence, if you shy away from it or give no power to it, if you rebel against your zodiac, you're doing yourself a disservice. Uh, your zodiac tells you a lot about your path, your, your um, purpose, and also how to find peace. One thing I found about gemstones and crystals, a lot of people wear it for fashion, but I find it greater for meditation. For every stone has a purpose. Like quartz, a clear quartz is very popular with everyone, where it's an all around energy where it enhances any stone that you have. That me being a Pisces, my birthstone is aquamarine. A very pretty expensive crystal worth every penny when I meditate with this uh, when I say every crystal has a destination you have different chakra points within your body is tons of them but your main seven from the, your uh, backside pelvis uh, belly button your chest throat third eye and then we have the uh, tree of knowledge is like I call it tree of knowledge which you grow but as for aquamarine i didn't know anything about my zodiac so i would google uh, gemstones and crystals for pisces so i urge you for your zodiac to google what stones are for your for your zodiac because aquamarine may not be work for you as it works for me i'm a water sign if you're a fire sign this might not bring you the same peace as say a tiger eye so, doing your own research will tell you a lot about yourself. So, uh, once you actually find the gemstone and crystals of your choosing as actually to your zodiac, there are going to be several. They all link to different chakras, as I said. So, if you found uh, my videos helpful in the past, you know how we meditate. We roll the eyes to the back of the head, deep breath into the chest, a natural exhalation. The second breath, eyes are back ahead, through the chest, and through the stomach, natural exhalation. And then the third breath is going to be eyes rolled back, through the chest, to the ch uh, stomach, normal exhalation. Uh, that's how we meditate. But this is also how you can find where your gemstone goes. For your body is a magnet, and this will be drawn into the place that is best for him. So when you place this gemstone, is for me, aquamarine. It attracts to my heart chakra. And when you research online, they'll actually tell you what your gemstone and what your crystal, what chakra to your body does it correlate with. I'm not a specialist in the spiritual world where, uh, you know, I'm not the creator and I can tell you exactly what happens and how everything works and how it's wired. But from how I, what I've found through my meditations are placing these stones on your body as you lay grounded onto the ground. It was my favorite way to, to meditate. Uh, each crystal, each stone enhances your body's energy and attracts your magnetism. So the, the power of attraction, the law of attraction is enhanced. Your manifestations are stronger. Your signals or your receivers are receiving messages from the universe much stronger, more intently, and that's how you use
crystals, this is how you use stones effectively. Moonstone, another strong Pisces stone, bloodstone. Stones are just not fashion. This is a way of life. This is a way uh, for your, uh, your peace all in all. Because once you're peaceful, you think better, you feel better, you live better. You come up with better ideas. So... Once again, uh, to, the, to the men of the world, because I don't see too many men that deal with meditation, not too many men that deal with crystals. I urge you to your zodiac, to your zodiac. Your zodiac is so to the, to, so finite and uh, specific to the T, it'll tell you what type of sense will send you into a place of relaxation. It will let you know what sense send you to a place of anxiety where you, you smell these places, these scents in different places, and you have reactions you just don't, don't understand why. Or you smell a scent and it sends you to a place of bliss and you don't know why. And this is why. Your zodiac is very strong. So for me, I looked up every scent that is pleasing to a Pisces and the stones that are meant for Pisces. So from Aquarius to Scorpio to Capricorn, all the, all the above, I urge you to do, to do the research and also to meditate with your stones. Once you figure out what stone... Uh, correlates to your zodiac figure out which one correlates to your chakras lay out on the ground with them lined onto your body from the sacrum all the way up to you know i say the the tree of knowledge which you uh start manifesting and start getting visions so um crystals are not evil uh they're what you, they're how you use them so i can't tell you how everyone's going to use them but i can tell you what their purpose are the purpose is uh, to be used naturally, not to be tampered with, and they all have purpose. And the purpose is to protect you before we fight with spirits and things that we don't see. And we need that protection just so we can uh, give ourselves a fighting chance to just enjoy life, guys. So happy healing, positive vibes, motivation, inspiration, love, positive energy, goodwill, everyone's way. Once again, look up your stones. Amethyst is a favorite, is a, is a very popular one. Quartz is a popular one. Aquamarine, this is personal for me. I would put this in my in a grill. I mean, once you know how crystals work well for you, Lapizoli. Once you feel the connection with stones, you actually understand you're one with the universe. For everyone that buys diamonds, if you're not a Taurus, like like diamonds are meant for Taurus. That is their birth stone. That's not your birth stone. So if you're wearing a stone that's not meant for you, in a lot of ways you're doing more damage than help to yourself. A lot of rappers are wearing diamonds. A lot of successful people are just flooded with diamonds. They want to wear diamonds. And they're not manifesting. They're, they're, their life is harder than it has to be. And sometimes yeah, diamonds won't do anything. I mean, you know, if it if it's not meant for you, then the power of that stone will not manifest for you. So a lot of people don't walk around with a expensive diamond that does nothing for your spirit. So bad health is big business. Uh, if we are what we eat, if we cheat, then we have to treat. 